Hey guys, what's up? Blacker Bricks here, back with another video for Set Review Sunday. Now here in front of me, I actually have the Dino set number set, uh, 5883. This is the tower takedown and comes with 136 pieces. Now this is actually a fairly old set I found in my closet and it was in surprisingly good condition. All the pieces are pretty much like new and uh, it was only missing a single piece which is right there and that is one of the silver fish which I believe was used as bait for the uh, tarant pterosaur. I don't think they specified which one. So why don't we take a look at the tower itself. I'll move everything to the side. Okay, so this is the tower that comes with the build. And for a build that's only 136 pieces, it's actually fairly large. So before I really get too far into it, I want to show you a little feature. Um, this part can just be taken apart just like that. It's a sort of modular build. And I guess I'll zoom in and show you just this first part. Um, yes, so this is, I guess, the semi-aquatic area of the build it is supposed to be built on water suggested by the base plates we have a little ladder i guess you can come in from your scuba gear it has a little rail over here obviously the pins that connect back in and uh, i'm unsure what this is I, I suggest i think it might be a light and then there's obviously a little holder for his uh radio now this is the other build that is included in this set uh, I guess it's just the other part really. So it comes with a couple things. So here we have a satellite dish in dark red. We have these leaves which you don't really see too often nowadays. Um, they are of course Lego and uh, I, I don't even know if they really have made them in a, in a while since then. We have this uh, SURP or a small ugly rock piece or little ugly rock piece LERP. Uh, in reddish brown which is not really a very common color for that piece um, there's a there's a bait over here which is supposed to have a fish on it I don't have that piece unfortunately and there's a little ladder over here which is right where it connects to the other build I'll just show you that so you can just see how it continues just like that and uh, these large crossbeam pieces are really what give this build so much height with so few pieces um, if we look over here, we just have some more of those crossbeams, one in the back over here. And I thought I might show you this uh, sticker, or not a sticker, this actual print that comes with the set. It's extremely detailed, very attractive uh, detail as well. And just a small little interior space. Now, when this set was created, it was the, uh, I think the either late 2000s or the early 2010s. And this is when Lego had a huge interest in these uh, net pieces. I'm honestly not sure why, but these net pieces just seem to come up in a lot of the sets. And it's a fairly simple build. It can be rotated just like that. It has some uh, spears and just some lights, but you just press on the back and it shoots out just like that. Um, I'm going to uh, unzoom this for just a bit. I'm gonna fold this up and see how good it is at actually catching a target. So just gonna stuff it in just like that and uh, put it back a bit and maybe put the dinosaur right down here. Oh my God, sorry about that. Let's see if the dinosaur can be caught. So we just push it out just like that and oh my God, this is harder. So sort of a miss, but I guess as, as far as the simple build goes, it's uh it's pretty fun to put together i really like this dino theme i'm sad i didn't get any more this was actually a birthday gift uh many many years ago so put that away now um yeah so let's just take a look at the little boat now so this is the boat it's just a small simple little build and it comes with a handle and just, I guess, some clips on the side and the back. I don't really know what you can clip those into, unfortunately. Uh, it is very, very simple. Uh, it does fit a minifigure, obviously. And that's pretty much it for the boat. Obviously, I cannot uh, complete this dinosaur review without mentioning the dinosaur included in this set, which is the pterosaur. Um, I am not sure, honestly, which pterosaur they're going for exactly. I, I, I don't want to say pteranodon because that isn't necessarily what they're going for regardless this is the mold that they've used for a while and they still continue to use to this day um it has a pivoting head and the main color scheme appears to be medium nougat and uh i'm honestly not even sure it might be reddish brown i'm not 100 percent sure there's a fairly large wingspan 
And, uh, yeah, it can do a little dance if it stands up on its legs. <laughs> That's pretty much it for the Pteranodon. Alright, so this set came with a single unnamed character. Uh, it doesn't really say anywhere on the box, so I'm just going to call him the uh, Dino Tracker. Uh, he has this aviator's helmet with the glasses, obviously, the goggles, rather. Those can be lifted up to see that he has a, a fairly concerned, almost sweating face. He also has this gun with a tranquilizer dart in lime green. And his main outfit is based in the olive green color. Sorry about that. Um, he has the interesting Dino Patrol logo, just the D on his shirt. You can take off his helmet just to see that a little better. And then on the back, he just has the uh, mirroring of the print on the front. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this minifigure. Let's see if I can get his head back on. And yeah. All right, so overall, this was actually a pretty exciting set. I definitely had a lot of fun putting it together. I It brought back some good memories, and I'm really happy that they made this dinosaur theme. I think it was a good precursor to, obviously, the Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, all those other sets that they made in the future. I think these were the first times they made a lot of the molds, or the newer molds for some of these dinosaurs. And... Yeah, I would definitely recommend this set. I know, like many of the sets I have reviewed recently, this is not available uh, at retail price anymore. You might have to scour the internet for a good price. But yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. Let me know what you want to see in the future. And I'll look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks, and have a great day.